During pre-flight, the AFCS mode control panel is set for takeoff. Each pilot sets a desired course with his course selector. For this flight, we will use the flight director for takeoff, so both flight directors are activated. V2 is entered with the airspeed selector. This drives the cursors on both airspeed indicators to the selected airspeed. The heading selector is used to enter the takeoff runway heading. And the altitude selector to enter the initial altitude. Next, the flight data is loaded into the PDCS. Required data includes outside air temperature, destination airport elevation, reserve plus alternate fuel, and zero fuel weight. Then, the captain selects the PDC takeoff mode and engages the page. The PDC enunciates takeoff on the flight mode enunciator and drives the EPR bugs to the PDC calculated value for takeoff. This completes the pre-flight activities for the AFCS. While taxiing to the active runway, the auto throttle is armed. The takeoff procedure is accomplished as follows. The captain advances the thrust levers to the vertical position, checks to ensure that the engines have accelerated and stabilized. Then he engages the auto throttle and flight director for takeoff by pushing either of the takeoff go around switches on the thrust levers. The auto throttle advances the thrust levers to attain the takeoff EPR, and flight director command bars appear on the ADI. A normal manual takeoff is then made. At approximately 60 knots, the flight director bars command 15 degrees nose up. Throughout the takeoff, the flight director continues to give roll commands to maintain the selected heading. However, as vertical speed increases, the flight director gives pitch commands to maintain V2 plus 20 knots. At flap retraction altitude, 210 knots is selected. That's one. And the flaps are retracted on schedule. The flight director gives pitch commands to obtain the selected airspeed. To reduce thrust to climb power, the captain pushes the EPR switch on the mode control panel. The PDC engages in climb. The auto throttle engages in EPR. And the auto throttle moves the thrust levers back to attain the calculated climb EPR limit. Now, the captain engages the autopilot. The autopilot engages in heading select and speed and adjusts the pitch attitude to maintain the selected airspeed. To climb at the most economical airspeed, refer to the PDC climb data. Below 10,000 feet, the PDC will recommend a climb speed of 250 knots. This speed could be selected on the mode control panel. However, engaging the PDC causes the autopilot to fly this PDC calculated airspeed. When the PDC mode is engaged, the mock airspeed window becomes blank, and the airspeed bug is driven to the PDC calculated value. 
When the PDC controls the climb speed, the autopilot flight director enunciates PDC speed. Passing 10,000 feet, the PDC computes a higher climb speed based on current conditions. The autopilot lowers the nose slightly and smoothly accelerates to the new airspeed. As PDC calculated airspeed and EPR change during climb, the autopilot and auto throttle automatically maintain the new economy climb values. Seven three seven left one two zero intercept Victor two, then resume on navigation. Here, the heading select mode is used to intercept a VOR radio. It's captured, the autopilot will track the selected course. At any time during our climb, we can select one of the other autopilot pitch modes. We could select vertical speed if a specific vertical speed were desired. Or in this case, the captain will engage level change to climb at a desired airspeed. The IAS mock window becomes active and the captain can enter his climb airspeed. The autopilot and flight director command a pitch attitude which will maintain the selected airspeed. As the selected altitude of 17,000 feet is approached, the flight director and autopilot enunciate altitude acquire and begin the level off. The autothrottle engages in the speed mode and begins to reduce thrust to maintain the selected airspeed. At the selected altitude, the flight director and autopilot enunciate altitude hold and the PDC engages in cruise. Seven is cleared to 2,800 feet. Pilot's discretion, altimeter 2985. Before the descent, the captain checks the PDC calculated descent speed by selecting the descent page. To maintain the economy descent speed during descent, he will use the PDC speed mode. To initiate the descent, he selects the new altitude. Then, selects the PDC mode. The auto throttle brings the thrust levers to idle. The autopilot flight director commands pitch attitudes to descend at the PDC economy descent speed. To fly vectors, the captain selects the heading and re-engages the heading select mode. Approaching 10,000 feet, the PDC calculated speed changes to 250 knots. The autopilot flight director continues the descent, but adjusts pitch to decelerate to 250 knots. As the selected altitude is approached, the autopilot flight director again enunciates altitude acquire and initiates a level off. The autothrottle advances the thrust levers to maintain 250 knots.